You mentioned, would we seed another planet with life? Is it possible that our planet was seeded with life from elsewhere? So what the, the, the proposition I made, I like to think of it as protospermia rather than panspermia because it's even, it's even more, it's a more pr proto state than the acknowledging because in, in panspermia, you still have a cell, right? You still have something that is very, even a cell to me would be very earth-like, yeah. right? I'm, I'm talking be I'm talking at subcellular level in, in the proposition of uh, spreading chemistry. So spreading chemical ingredients, not spreading life. Exactly. It would be more like the fertilizer that is well adapted and compatible with that planetary body. In panspermia, you're still imagining either an entire bacteria or microbe or a cell or something that is DNA, which is still Terran. So in that sense, that would, that doesn't matter to you because it's, it's chemistry, that's the initial conditions. It doesn't matter how the initial conditions came to be. They are what they are, and let's go from there. Yeah. And there, there's all kinds of fascinatingly different initial conditions in terms of chemistry yeah. on different planets. Yes, but but the, in terms of panspermia, I mean, obviously that's that. There's going to be always room for that. Those sort of discussions, or there will be uh, those discussions, will always be present. I think in any life in universe debates. But the the problem I have with panspermia is that it, it removes the problem from the planet to somewhere else. It makes it very d difficult to answer scientifically, right? You you are just, you just took the problem away from this planet and uh, formulated in a way that I cannot go and try to understand in the lab, doing experiments or even through models. Does it though? So I've heard brilliant biologists like yourself say that, but I, I just, to me, Okay, here's how I think of Earth. So I, I actually am able to hold all these possibilities in my head and all of them are inspiring to me. I kind of think there's a possibility that Earth is just an experiment by a graduate student, by an alien graduate student. Like, So I know the exact episodes of Star Trek you're talking about. <laughs> but <laughs> th like there is some, to me that's inspiring. If we are... But that's not what uh, panspermia is about. That you're talking about... My proposition. That's not what panspermia is. What's panspermia? It is. Uh, oh, life just came from elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Still, that's interesting because oh. there's still giant leaps that happened on Earth, it seems like, beyond the initial primitive organisms like eukaryotes. I don't think panspermia usually uh, uh, articulates at the level of eukaryotes. I think they talk about b bacteria okay. primarily. I yeah. think so. Right. Mm -hmm. So that that's still interesting because all the different leaps of evolution still happen here on Earth. That's still interesting. Yeah, but it's, I mean, it's, it's definitely um, interesting to listen to. But I I, I wouldn't uh, place it in. I, I wouldn't know how to place it in the studies of origin of life. I guess or right, here's life. how we place it: you have the initial conditions for the origin of life, and you try to create life in that way that you've described in the five components, and it keeps failing. So you, what, what panspermia allows you to do is to also consider the question, maybe there's missing components. How do you answer that question? Through exploration and through science. Yes, yeah, tell looking me outside, you... Looking outside of Earth, looking at the fundamentals of chemistry and physics. How do you understand that with fundamentals of chemis chemistry and physics? How do you understand... How do you understand how gravity? But you're talking about panspermia, right? Just, I don't understand how would you, it's different than, if, if you think it's similar to looking for life in the universe, is, is that what you're thinking? No, I'm saying there's a missing component that came from elsewhere. But a whole entire organism is not a missing component like that, right? I mean, when you're thinking about origin of life. No, 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 that, that's an assumption. <laughs> your, your assumption is all the ingredients for the origin of life are here on earth. Now, I tend to believe that most likely that's the case. I'm just saying it's inspiring to think that there is some ingredients. You're going to push back because that's not panspermia. That's pros. But <laughs> see, okay, so think. Uh, th 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 <laughs> but yeah. I mean, it's also kind of fun to push back on you. Uh, no, I, I, I understand. I understand. I understand if, if actually a living organism ended up here from elsewhere. 
That means a lot of the exploration we're doing here with the ingredients that we know will not give us the clues to the um, to the origin of life. But it just seems like it's still very useful to try to create life here. And then we'll see, wait a minute, don't you think we'll be able to prove, not prove, but show that panspermia is very likely? Like if we just keep failing, we understand biology deeply, so understand that's, that's chemistry the thing. deeply. I don't, I don't think so. I mean, there, there, there will be the failure is, is not going to indicate that this must have been. I don't think anyone will put the problem to some, some something else just because our failures, our experiments failed. So failure means we don't understand the chemistry deeply enough. Yeah, and and we given the progress we made, and how many brilliant people are working on this right now. Uh, uh, and it's definitely more, I would say that we are approaching this problem in more broader ways, different ways possible. Uh, I'm confident that we will get there. For for us, uh, again, we are interested in uh, early cells and first cells and what follow the origin of life, but we cannot, given that it's a continuum that's the, between uh, the origin and the emergence of first cells, it's hard to separate these two ends from one another.